Hey, so I wanted to show you the setup for the T5 lights and talk about some of the benefits as well as the negatives of this system. So basically this light system, I have already three of them. I guess I mean that's a sign that, that I, I like it. Originally when I, when I bought a light system, I bought basically this 24 inch two bulb system thinking that would be enough. And as you see, I don't even turn this thing on anymore. Don't don't even waste your money on getting something with two bulbs. You want to get something at least with four to eight. This way, you actually get a nice radius of uh, of grow lights. Because when this thing turns on, it only basically comes up just about here. So, for example, these jars, I'm only able to put one jar in each thing. And if you see, like for example here, when plants get larger. I only have two, two plants under the system right here and that already takes up a decent amount of the size here so I guess that's one of the negatives they sell this is a 24 inch one they sell a 48 inch but depending on what you're doing you might want to go with one or the other I'm not sure how big of a space you're going to be growing in I like to have different stages of plant growth which is why I chose to use basically the 24 inch size and I mean, I, I, I seem to like the system a lot. It does get a little bit hot up top over here. So be careful what you're doing. If you don't want to put like any type of plastic on top of this to be touching this or else that it might possibly melt because it does get a little bit hot to the touch when this thing is on for several hours as it should be for maybe 12 to 16 hours a day, unless you're running more than that. And the nice thing about this system right here is basically the way the lights are, it comes with these hooks right here as well as a metallic little chain, but the chain is honestly garbage. You're better off getting these little systems right here. I forgot honestly what it's called right now, but it's just basically like a pulley system. And it's on Amazon. If you need the link, I'll give you the link, but you could find it really easily. This is the most popular one that they sell. It's only like a few dollars, I think maybe five. And you get two of those and you're able to adjust it by just a simple trigger right here. You just press it and you hear a uh, click and it pulls up and down and then you adjust it by pulling this so that's really nice to use so for example if you just make yourself a little system like this like I did to hang up your lights you're able to adjust the lights up and down and really benefit for, for the plants at different stages of their growth so when they start really young you want it really low and as the plant is getting older you want to keep lifting it up and here's a little example of my pepper plant and my squash plant that's growing right now and so basically that's some of the things that I wanted to mention also the way you hang the lights over here it comes with like I said with these hooks you're able to place the hooks in different places for example up top here on the side it has two notches where you could stick it into to adjust for different heights as well as up top here you could pro probably put it in here and you could put it in here I've used it so depending on how you're hanging your system, if you're gonna hang it on like a little pole right here, or you wanna hang it up the sides using like a little pulley system like that, you could do different things. You could simply just take this hook and hang it on this notch up here and let that hang, but then you're not able to adjust the height. And each of these T5s, they come with a little additional output right here. So basically if you have multiple of these light systems, let's say right on top of each other, you could take the top light and take the, the plug and plug it into here and this one system will control both lights this way you don't need to take up two outlets in your wall which is a nice benefit of this thing I personally don't do that because I have outlets on both sides of my wall so I, I, I broke it up but I, I have tried it in the past and it does work and one of the negatives I found with this light system is it gets a little bit hot so depending on what you're growing you may have to lift up the, the lights a little bit higher. This thing does get pretty hot. For example, the light bulbs, they've been on for several hours now. They get to the point where you're not able to, to touch it. It's going to burn your hand and it'll definitely, you'll feel that. And if your leaves are touching those or let's say your fruit or anything is touching that, it's definitely going to burn it and damage your plants. So if you're looking for a cool light system, this is probably not what you're looking for and this thing generates pretty pretty good amount of heat so 
for things like peppers and tomatoes and plants that flower and produce like edible fruits they really enjoy the heat so I really like the system because of that and being that I'm growing indoors if you're growing indoors you might want to buy something like this because it actually generates its own heat so even if you're growing in the winter time or in the summertime it doesn't really make a difference you're gonna have sufficient heat going on for its entire growth so that's one of the good things to use and a nice thing about it is it generates a lot of side light from the from the system so basically when it wraps around you're able to see here actually better bounces off the floor well as you see the system is only 24 inches by I think by like 12 or 14 let me actually see yeah so this is basically 18 inches by like 25 inches across and that's basically the the area that you have for maximum light generated from the receiving from the top of the system but also you want to able you're able to place plants around the outside of the system going around if it's if they're like in their early stage of growth and they don't really ne necessarily need too much of light or you just want to have something for example like I do where my apple tree had aphids and it still currently does so I placed it on the outside and it's growing basically pretty well but is definitely struggling a tiny tiny bit because it doesn't have maximum lights you could see it basically behind that greenhouse right there so it does get sufficient light from the sides so you get a pretty good area of growth for a small little light system and let me see if there's anything else that's really negative honestly I, I can't really think of anything else that's really bad about this light the only thing that I personally find that I don't like about it is my, I guess my number one reason is basically is when you're sitting let's say down here like I am and you have the light on top of you when that light is beaming on your eyes or on, on top of your head it does give you a slight bit of a headache and it, you're not able to open this up and just stare at it it's going to be way too bright to look at so depending on where you're placing the system it might be kind of bright and you want to think about that possibly so some people they get actually sunglasses they make like special uv sunglasses what that people wear i personally don't do it because i like to see what's going on and i don't really spend that much time in here at at, at each time i mean I'm, i come in here for maybe half hour each time and then i leave and then so when you're sitting under these lights for a long time you might get yourself a little bit of a headache or you'll definitely feel it so I'm not sure if that's me personally but I've asked other people and I had two other people tell me they they felt similar things but they told me they felt that with the T5s as well as I mean yeah with the T5s as well as the, um, the LED lights they also felt it those blue and purple lights and so I mean I guess that's just something that that comes with indoor growing so just keep that in mind and it, obviously if you have any questions message me I'll try to respond and hopefully I try to mention everything about this system oh and night one thing about it is the the light the what's it called the outlet the line that it comes with is very long so that's a nice little b benefit and this thing is not really too bulky if I stand up for example you're able to see a nice comparison of how big this light is you can see it even better in here Here's basically like a regular solo cup or one of those Bodo Party cups. And I'll just put it on top just so you get a comparison, size comparison of how big this thing is. So as you see, it's pretty, pretty small and doesn't take up too much space. And overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I mean, I bought three of them and I'm not an affiliate of theirs. I'm not trying to sell or pitch their product. I'm just trying to give you some information and hopefully I try I, I shared some useful info for you and like I said any questions message me and I'll respond thanks